Welcome to Health Talks. I'm here with Dr. Teresha Kiang, a neurologist at The Ohio State University. Dr. Kiang, we're talking about multiple sclerosis. What is it? Multiple sclerosis is an autoimmune disorder that affects the central nervous system, and that's your brain, spinal cord, and the optic nerves. There's an inflammation that's targeting the coating around the nerves called myelin. Is, is this something that's hereditary? No, it's actually not hereditary. There's a lot of different things that could contribute to a person getting MS or multiple sclerosis. Uh, it's a combination of genetic, there's a genetic uh, predisposition, but it's not an inheritable disease. The environment, from what we know, plays a strong mm -hmm. role. And then for some reason, there's an immune dysregulation, which we still don't clearly understand. Are there ways that people can guard against it? Or are there certain things that put someone at risk? There are a lot of studies right now looking at what are the things that predispose a person to getting MS. There are a few things that we know, for instance, low vitamin D levels have been associated with getting MS. Where you're born and you, f you spend the first 15 or so years of your life actually determine what risk you have for the rest of your life. And there are also other, fa other factors like viruses. Right now we're studying the Epstein-Barr virus to see if it is in any way associated with a person getting MS. What are symptoms? What does multiple sclerosis look like? So multiple sclerosis looks very different in different people. Most patients present with acute neurologic uh, symptoms. For instance, losing vision in one eye, weakness on one side of the body, numbness, tingling, balance issues, trouble urinating. So symptoms are very different and everybody presents a little bit differently. And patients have these symptoms that come all of a sudden, over some time may get better and have these symptoms over and over again. That's the most common type of MS. Uh, there's a less frequent type of MS called the primary progressive MS where patients come in with a very slow progression of disability. Because it's different, is it hard to diagnose? Sometimes it can be hard to diagnose. And I think the problem is there is no one test that tells us a person has MS. It's a combination of the clinical profile. So we listen to the patient, hear about their symptoms, we do an examination. And then the MRI scans are very important because we look for very specific um, uh, findings. We call lesions or spots on the MRI that tell us if there is abnormal inflammation in the nervous system. Sometimes additional tests are done like a spinal tap or other tests that could help to confirm a diagnosis in an individual we're considering for MS. Obviously, this impacts someone's quality of life. So how do you help some of your patients manage even their day-to-day -day functioning? So as I said, MS has a lot of different manifestations, and patients present very differently. Each patient needs to be treated as a different person because one patient may have completely different needs from another patient. And so, you know, you, we need to target treatment based on the needs of a specific patient and figure out what does this patient have and how can I individualize the care that I give to a specific patient. And it's chronic? It is a chronic disease. Once you're diagnosed with MS, this is a, dis this is a diagnosis you carry for the rest of your life. So in doing that, people do need to learn how to manage their care. Absolutely. And there's a quality of life clinic that is offered at Ohio State. How does that help the patient? Yeah, so this is a very innovative approach to managing patients with MS. We created a new type of clinic that completely focuses on managing symptoms of MS. You know, when we went as a physician that takes care of patients with MS, usually when they come to the clinic, there's just multiple things to talk about. And you know we are able to talk about symptoms, but sometimes we don't have enough time to address all the symptoms a patient may have. And so we designed a, a unique clinic just to address symptoms that a specific patient has. Symptoms could range from fatigue, weakness, numbness, balance issues, falling down, sexual dysfunction, urinary issues. So there's a wide range of symptoms a specific patient may have. Um, and so we have a special clinic that just focuses on managing those symptoms. Who are the experts then at Ohio State who help these patients? So we have a lot of people on the team. On the, in the quality of life clinic, we have a very skilled nurse practitioner and all the patients get to meet the nurse practitioner. We collect a lot of metrics and a lot of um, scales to decide what does each patient need and what, what, what are the needs of a specific patient and how can we help them. 
after this visit, the patient is going to be referred to other specialists or the MS Symptom Management Multidisciplinary Clinic. In this, in this clinic, there are multiple special, specialists like a physical therapist, a pharmacist, uh, a social worker. You know, we get a lot of tests on our patients that come into the, the, the multi-D clinic just to manage their symptoms. So the first visit is just to decide what that patient needs, and it's only in one appointment. It is one appointment. We collect a lot of information to decide what the patient needs. We do a thorough examination. If any blood work is needed, we, you know, we order blood work, and out of this visit, we're able to decide exactly what the needs of a patient, and we make, multiple, we make those referrals after that visit. What's been, the, um, what's been the reaction from your patients? It's just been wonderful. You know, I've, I've sent multiple, pa multiple of my patients to this clinic and I've gotten a lot of very positive feedback. You know, when I see them in clinic, I'm able to address whatever needs they have, but sometimes we're limited with time. It's helpful to have another avenue where all we're talking about is managing these symptoms and improving the quality of life of a patient and it's just specifically for them. Specific for them, each person's plan is different. You know, everybody is treated as an individual with the specific needs that they have to be addressed. Dr. Yang, thank you very much for joining us and thank you for joining us for Health Talks.